Hi, my name is Natasha Harnes and today I'm going to show you how to use a wig clip with your Embellish Fascinator. On almost all of the Embellish Fascinators that I've created, there are wig clips to attach them to your hair. Wig clips are great if your hair is fine or thin as it has teeth and a rubber section at the back to be able to help grab the hair and hold it into place so that it can't come out. So the way you're going to want to open up the wig clip is to grab both sides of the wig clip, find the widest part of the wig clip, and put your thumb on that side, that's the widest part, and snap it, bend it away from itself so that the teeth release. Then you're going to want to decide where you're going to place it, have the teeth facing down so that as you drag it down your hair the teeth catch pull it down until you can't pull it anymore and the teeth have grabbed the hair. Then you're going to place your hands underneath the wig clip or the um, fascinator. You're going to find both sides of the wig clip and you're going to stick your thumb on the widest part underneath and as you bend towards yourself you're going to push up your thumb to snap it closed. So you're bending towards your head and using your thumb to push up on the wig clip. And the way to take it out now is to also do the same thing. Put your hands underneath, grab both sides of the wig clip. If you need to, support by putting your finger in the center. Bend it away from your head to release the teeth and then you can gently pull it out. Now if you find that it's just not laying the way you want to, you can also add bobby pins to help secure it. Or if you have an updo and it's just you're having a harder time dragging it into the hair, you can always use bobby pins as well to help just add more security to your uh, fascinator. Have fun uh, figuring out different ways to wear it. You can put it beside your ear, offset your part, or beside your up sweep. Uh, thanks and hope you have a great day and hope this helps.